So in today's video, I'm going to be looking at how crop factors affect the focal length of your lenses and explaining how to work that out. So let's get into it. Hi guys, Mandy here again from the Photography Blog, bringing you photography tips to help you take better photos. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you never miss another one of these videos. Yeah, so today we're going to be looking at basically what I've covered in the last two videos, which is crop factor and focal length, putting those together and see how they affect the lens choice and the lenses that you buy for your camera. So basically you've got the two camera mounts for the Canon cameras, the EF mount with the red dot that basically denotes full frame and the EFS mount that has the white dot that basically means these are made for the crop bodies. So the good thing is that the crop bodies take both lens mounts, so they'll take either the EF or the EFS lenses. Um, and you can tell that because on this little metal ring here where the lens goes, you've got a red dot and you've got a white dot. So you just locate the dot on the lens, you line it up, and then basically, well, just show you be easy. Basically, you get the white dot on your lens, you line it up with the white dot on your camera, it sits in, and then you turn it clockwise and you'll hear it click. That means it's on and it's all sorted. So if you are doing an EF lens, then you just do the same thing, but you line the red dot up with the red dot on the camera, it sits in, turn it, and you hear it click again clockwise. Now, the reason Canon's done that is basically they're thinking of the future. They know you're going to start off with an entry-level camera um, and then you're going to possibly want to upgrade in the future. But in the meantime, while you're using the crop sensor cameras, you can buy the, um, the more professional, the, the better lenses for the full-frame cameras. Uh, in other words, the EF lenses you can buy for the crop body and then when you're ready, you can upgrade to a full frame body and that's why they've done it. You can also then keep your crop body as a second camera um, or whatever, but you'll notice a difference in the focal length because if it's an EFS lens, then it will go all the way down to say 10 mil, uh, your 10 mil to your 18 or your 10 to 22. That's gonna give you your wide angle equivalent um, for the full frame cameras. And then your 18 to 55, it's going to be 28.8 to 88 instead of 18 to 55. Why? Besides going to go watch my crop sensor video, um, basically the crop sensor on your camera is 1.6 times smaller than a full frame, so you have to times the focal length by 1.6 to get your actual focal length when it comes to 35mm format. So uh, you've got to convert all these EF lenses into what they would be on a full frame to get your actual focal length. So you've got to times all of them by 1.6. That goes as well for the EF lenses on the cropped body because it's still the crop sensor. So although it's a 50mm full frame lens this, on a cropped body it's an 80mm equivalent. So it's still great as a portrait lens. Um, I love this lens, it's great lens for portraits um, and, and detail shots and things like that but you've just got to remember to times it by 1.6 so when you're buying your lenses keep that in mind because it's very important. You could buy this 18-55 and think great I've got a really nice extra wide angle there for landscapes but you haven't, um, excuse me, my cold is still catching up with me. Um, you haven't, you haven't got an 18mm focal length on this, it actually works out at 28.8, basically 29mm. Now 24mm is kind of the very edge of ultra wide, so you're just into normal focal length range at that point, you are not at the wider end, basically, you're just a little bit in from that. So you're not going to get landscapes that have that nice wide uh, vista feel to them, it's going to be a little bit more normal. So you need to know these things um, just because these do affect your photography. If, if you're walking around saying, oh this ultra wide is not very good, it's because it's not. It's because it's actually a 29mm um, wide end to it. So keep that in mind when you're looking at lenses. 
If you're wanting something wider, then you need to be looking at the 15 to 85 EFS or the 10 to 18, 10 to 18 or 10 to 22 millimeter EFS, and they will give you those wide angles. But if you were to put those, well, you can't put those lenses onto full frame cameras. But if you were to put them on, then it would be more like using a fisheye, basically, on the full frame. So you've got to understand the difference between the full frame and the crop sensor, and you've got to understand how it affects the lenses, because that will affect your photography and what you're wanting to take with the lenses. So, the only other thing to cover is, while you are times in your focal length by 1.6, you need to times your f-stops by 1.6 as well because it affects both both um, things. So what do I mean by that? Well, this little 50mm goes down to f1.8 on a full frame camera, but when it's on a crop sensor, it's going to be 80mm, but it's not going to be 1.8. It's not going to be that wide, that open. Um, you're going to have to times your f-stop by 1.8 as well, so it's going to make it a bit more like 2.8. So it's not going to have as much shallow depth of field to it by a tiny bit and it's not going to be quite as fast and quite as bright. Not so much on that lens, that lens still gives you some great performance, but say more so on this that's a 3.5 to 5.6 aperture lens. What that means is when I'm at 18 I can go all the way down to f3.5, but when I'm zoomed into 55 I can only go down to 5.6 that would be on a full frame. You've got to times it all by 1.6. Confused yet? Got a headache? <laughs> so unfortunately that's what you've got to do. You've got to realise that, that this lens will not be as bright, it will not be as fast. You've got to factor that in when getting a lens. Um, and it's just what you've got to do uh, unfortunately on crop sensor cameras. Um, but the lenses still work great. It's just something to keep in mind when you're choosing lenses and um, for now or for the future and when you're thinking about what camera body to buy as well. So, I hope you found that useful. I hope I haven't confused you too much and given you too much of a headache there. But honestly, if you have any questions, pop them below and I'll answer them there for you. And uh, if you have liked this video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you haven't already, as I said, please subscribe to this channel. There'll be more of these videos and you don't want to miss them, do you? So thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.